the channel, it's your girl Desiree, and I'm back once again, guys, with another video for you guys today. If it's your first time here, hi, welcome. Make sure you smash that subscribe button and turn on your post notification bell so that way you are informed every single time your girl uploads a video. And if you're looking for your girl outside of YouTube, you can find me on Instagram, Snapchat, and Facebook at everything underscore does where for your girl gonna be. Now, with that being said, let's go ahead and get straight into another video. All right, you guys. Your girl was not about to record tonight because I am not feeling it. But I said I had to get up, do Vlogmas Day 8, and come and clutch for you guys. And so we just going to have to get through it. Bear with me if I don't seem like my normal self because I don't feel like my normal self. So your girl is just going to have to come and bring the best energy that she can for you guys. Okay. So with that being said, by the title of that video, you guys can see that we are going to be doing a holiday gift guide for her, so this is gonna be for uh, a male's perspective or anything like that if a male is trying to look or figure out what kind of gift to get a female or vice versa, mom, sister, girlfriend, wife, all that good stuff. I got y'all covered, okay? I, okay, okay. And we got a little bit of something, something on here for everybody, okay? We got the lavish gifts, we got the mm, I like her, but not like that type of gifts, and then, um, you know, I'm gonna just get her this type of gift, so, you know? so. It's women are like we're picky, but we're not picky. We just care, okay. And I know guys can probably say the same thing we're not picky, but we are picky. I got y'all, okay. We got y'all covered, okay. So I'm gonna be giving you guys 10 things for a holiday. <coughs> Excuse me, I'm gonna be listing out 10 things as a holiday gift guide for you guys. And if you like any of these, give this video a fat thumbs up and let me know. All right, guys, so the first one on our list is going to be perfumes or lotions. Women love perfumes. Women love to smell good. I've never met a female that don't like smelling good. So perfumes, lotions, all that good stuff is really great. Um, some of my favorite scents um, that's kind of like an affordable range if you were looking for something designer uh, is probably a Chanel um, perfume. You can also do a Marc Jacobs perfume. They're a little bit more affordable. Uh, and then you also have, um, who else? Those are the two that I really like. Um, you also have like, um, if you're looking to like go way out of your budget, um, they have some of the um, like Creed for women. Um, that's that that's pricey, okay? You're looking to drop a big buck right there. Um, they also have some of the um, New York um, Bond, I think is what it's called. Um, and they have like a piece of, essence of peace scent uh, and a few other good things like there. I'll probably drop some pictures in for you guys to see. Um, and then if y'all were just looking for something affordable, something quick, something easy, um, Bath and Body Works tends to have a lot of holiday scents. Um, I don't typically prefer their holiday scents. I'm just the, you know, I like the just the normal scents, uh, the pink chiffon and the beautiful day and um, Japanese cherry blossom. All those scents smell really good as well. So perfumes, lotions, that's number one on our list. Number two, uh, Starbucks holiday cup. Okay, so these are so, so hard to come by. And I promise you, if your wife, your girlfriend, somebody special that's close to you, sister, all that good stuff, if they are a Starbucks drinker, they are gonna love you to death for this, okay? Because Starbucks holiday cups are so hard to come by. It's not even funny. Like they sell out like crazy, okay? So if you were looking to get um, a quick and easy gift, that's a really, really great gift to give. Uh, I would love a Starbucks holiday cup. That's just your girl. I'm looking for the red one. If you got any nearby, let your girl know, okay? Number three, makeup palette. So this is definitely a, a female's perspective. It's definitely a female preference. Um, if your girl enjoys makeup or doing her makeup or anything like that, then definitely makeup palettes. Um, any new collaborations are really great. Um, so, cause those palettes are typically the hardest to come by. So um, any um, collaboration palettes or any of their favorite brand, uh, Morphe is really good um, about their palettes. Um, you also have, if you're looking for a little bit more affordable range, um, you also have like Elf that has really great palettes now and they're super affordable. You can find them at your local department stores and all that stuff. Um, Makeup Revolution is another affordable brand. Actually, Morphe is a pretty affordable brand as well, but I'm thinking in terms of like comparing the prices to like Elf and to like Morphe, you know what I'm saying? Um, but also Makeup Revolution is a pretty affordable brand. 
Um, and I don't typically stray too far away from those uh, three companies just in terms of like eyeshadow palettes because that's what I'm comfortable with using. So I don't really want to recommend anything else, but for sure Morphe and they have tons of different palettes and all that good stuff. And I really enjoy using their palettes and they do have a, a, a variety to pick from. So yeah, makeup palettes number three. Number four, a purse. Now, I say purse, but when I say purse, this is for people that, if, you know, they want to spend a little budget. So um, you can also do like an affordable budget for this as well. Uh, if you're looking for something in a little bit more of the affordable range, um, you have Michael Kors, which is still a designer. They're not really like out there anymore, but before Michael Kors was like super popping. Um, if you're looking for something more in date, Tory Burch is a really good brand as well. Um, and their purses are pretty durable. Now, if you was looking to drop some money, <laughs> some money, money, um, you have <laughs> your Louis Vuitton, um, you have your Christian Dior, um, you also have your YSL bags and things like that. But those are like some pretty penny bags. So, but that's your preference. It's totally up to you. But I've never met a woman that didn't enjoy either one of those brands, whether that be Michael Kors, Tory Burch, uh, Louis Vuitton. I've never met a woman that didn't enjoy those brands. Um, so I don't think you can go wrong in terms of if you were going to buy a purse or anything like that. Just stick to um, like brands and ask around. Um, kind of pay attention to what your wife typically likes, cross bodies, big, ba or not your wife, but just in general, the girl that you're trying to get this for. Um, pay attention if she likes cross bodies, if she likes small bags, big bags, um, like the big tote bags. Just pay attention to those things um, because that's going to be what is like the ordeal. Number five. Okay, dang, we're halfway through the list already, y'all. Number five, jewelry. Um, so typically really great brands for jewelry. Uh, James Avery is really great. Any charm bracelets or anything like that, like if the person that you're buying, uh, if the girl that you're buying this gift for has a charm bracelet or anything like that, those are really, really great gifts. Uh, as, well, as well as James Avery's rings are really great. Um, those are really great gifts to get. Now, if you was looking for something a little bit more pricey, like your local jeweler would be great. Um, Zales is pretty affordable as well. They're kind of like that mid-range um, as well as K. But if you're looking for like bigger diamonds and things like that, baby i don't know because i don't shop like that but <laughs> i guess like cartier um they do really great jewelry um rolex people like that um yeah that's all i really know uh there's a few places in the galleria but i don't really know their names but i think it's like um D, D diamond or something like that that's if you're looking to drop a pretty nice penny but your girl ain't we don't do that over here okay but i'm just listing something just you know to give you guys options and things like that i'm not really sure what who's whoever's watching this video i'm not really sure what what your budget is or who you're getting these gifts for or vice versa and so i wanted to kind of be a, a variety give you guys a variety of like prices and affordable things as well so yeah number six on our list bundles i know that this is kind of cheesy i know that this is like what but hair is not cheap okay hair is not cheap especially if your girl is one of those people that uh loves to have her hair done all the time 24 7 or whoever this is bundles 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 just one set will do and it will set you through the roof your girl like me i don't really care about bundles but i'm just giving you guys options as well um some good brands that i hear are really great is um eunice hair um who else who else who else really has great bundles? Uh, your local beauty supply store. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much the ones like, I guess I should, instead of doing brands, I guess I should do like textures. So you got like your body wave, um, you got like your deep wave um, and all those good, uh, like rich, like soft and all that good stuff. Cur the curly hair, all that good stuff. So body wave, deep wave, loose wave, all that stuff is really good. Um, and depending on whatever brand um, you go for, you just want to get the ones behind the counter. Don't get the ones that's out, you know, in, you know, in the aisles. Don't, you know, no, no. You got to get the ones behind the counter. That's the good ones, okay? Number seven, luxury candles. So I love, 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 love candles. And I can never have enough candles. Again, I've never met a woman that doesn't like her house to smell good. Like, especially if she's by herself. 
women love for their house to smell good. And so candles, luxury candles, um, for sure are a great gift. You can find a few of these luxury candles at Sephora. You can also find them at Ulta as well. Um, Nest is a really great brand, uh, brand. And then you also have Replica. I think that they have a few candle scents as well, or like room freshness as well. Those are really great gifts to give as well. Number eight, you cannot go wrong with gift cards. And I know everybody says, oh, gift cards are like, and you know what I'm saying? It's gift cards. No, women love gift cards, especially like Starbucks. Like that's a really great gift. Um, Visa gift cards, you can't go wrong with that. Uh, maybe an Ulta gift card or a Sephora gift card or uh, maybe a gift card to like their favorite massaging place or a gift certificate to go get their nails and feed done, something along those lines. But gift cards are great gifts. So don't sleep on gift cards, okay? Don't ever think that just because you get a gift card or something like that, that that's not a great gift. No, gift cards are great gifts. They are really, really great gifts. Number nine on my list, I put hair tools. I think that this is really important, especially if your girl, um, if, if, especially if the person that you're buying this gift for uh, is typically always doing their hair. Um, Dyson is a really great brand. Um, they are affordable. They, I mean, they are not affordable. They are definitely pricey. Um, but you also have like Revlon and things like that. And by tools, I mean like flat irons. I mean um, hair dryers and uh, hot combs and things like that. Straighteners and wands and things like that. Um, those are really, really great gifts to give. I technically don't, you know, fool too much with that, with those, but um, a blow dryer for sure, it would be a great gift or things like that for somebody with natural hair and things like that. Um, yeah, all that good stuff, yeah. So don't sleep on those types of things as well. Uh, I know that there was a Dyson um, hair dryer that just came out a few years ago and it is definitely pricey, but it is like the hottest, like, hair tool right now in the business. Um, it was like 400 or 500 bucks or something like that. So definitely don't sleep on those things, um, but they are pricey for the Dyson brand and, and a few other brands, but that's the one I'm most familiar with. All right, guys, we have made it to number 10. And I know y'all probably like, dang, this video went by quick. I know it went by quick for me too, y'all, but it's okay. Like I said, we just, we're going with the flow. Your girl is not feeling 110%, but the last gift that I have on my gift guide, is a portable massage gun and this is something that works for both genders i feel like if you get this for a male or if you get this for a female you cannot go wrong with this because women work a ton not saying that men don't but especially if you're a mom you packing babies and groceries and cleaning up house and vacuuming and tidying up stuff and picking up after kids and sometimes you just want to rest but sometimes that that can be a little bit pricey and so right so a massage gun is really a really really great gift um you can find a few of these on amazon um you can also find them at walmart and target and you can even find them at places like tj maxx and burlington and things like that they work wonders i promise you i just recently bought one not too long ago and they work wonders you cannot go wrong with a portable massage gun uh, something that's a little bit lightweight that would be able, that she, she would be able to hold in her hands would be great or if she travels a lot or anything like that um whoever this female is that you'd be getting this gift for something that would be portable um and durable maybe that has a longer charge or anything like that um typically a lot of them will last for about two to three hours i know the one that i got will typically go two and a half hours um, without it being charged which is a really long time i know that you, that doesn't seem like a long time but two and a half hours is a long time for it to to keep its charge especially if you're constantly using it uh, which you probably won't be but that's a really great gift to give as well so yeah so yeah that is all i hope you guys enjoyed this holiday gift guide for her comment down below if you guys want to see a holiday gift guide for him and if so i will bring in your boy josh to do that part as well for you guys so like i said i love you guys not feeling the greatest but i wanted to do this video for y'all and keep things going and on a roll this is vlogmas day eight Whew. Bear with me y'all okay christmas is coming faster than we think it is and so just work with your girl we're gonna get there we're gonna be there before we know it but i love you guys stay tuned and stay blessed because your girl is out peace wait, wait.